In this video, I am going to show you how you can locally install Mistral 7B trained on Dolphin dataset. This has been created by E. Hartford, and I'll be using the blog's quantized GPT GPTQ version for this video. I'll be using the Google Colab, but you can use any Linux based instance, including AWS SageMaker Notebook. Now, in this uh, video, which is based on Dolphin 2 dataset, it is a high quality dataset based on the Microsoft Orca dataset. This is fully uncensored version and performs really well. So, uh, in this video, I'll be using the quantized version. I already have my Google Colab ready. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to install the prerequisites. For that, I am using Transformers and Optimum. So let me install it. Let's wait for it to finish. That's done. Now let's clone the GPTQ repository because we are going to use the quantized version and also make sure that you are using this T4 runtime in your Google Colab or respective GPU in any other notebook or your local system. Let's first try to uninstall auto GPTQ if it is already installed and then we will get clone the repo. Let me put exclamation mark in front of it. So auto GPTQ is not installed in my case and I have cloned this repo. Now let's CD to this repo. I am in the, this repo now. Let me check out the stable branch. Okay, so let me put the exclamation mark in front of it. So I have checked it out and now let's install everything which is present in this branch and exclamation mark. There you go. This takes around a couple of minutes, so let's wait for it to finish. Auto GPTQ is done. Now, in the next step, we are going to download the model, and as you can see, we are using Blog's quantized version of this Dolphin Mistral 7B, and then we are going to create a tokenizer out of it. So let's run it. Let's wait for it to start and finish. There you go, you can see it is now downloading the model, which is around 4.16 gig. So it's a quantized version. So let's wait for it to finish. The speed looks good today, which is nice. It has finished downloading the model and then it has finished creating the token, which is nice. Now in the next step, let's give it a prompt and then insert it into the pipeline and then get the output. So the prompt I'm using here is so what is the capital of Australia? And then this is a prompt template which is required by this data set and model. Then we are um, putting the input IDs with all the hyperparameters and then feeding it to the pipeline and then generating the output. So let me run it. Okay, so it has given us the error name system message not defined. I think I need to put the commission mark over there because it is already giving it. Let me fix it. Okay, so it was missing this system message. So I have put in the system message, which is your dolphin a helpful AA assistant. And then now this variable has a value. Let's run it. So our prompt is what is the capital of Australia? And you can see that it has passed this and it is doing stuff. Let's wait for it to finish. There you go, it is finished. And there you go. The cap answer is the ca capital city of Australia is Canberra. And then um, it is giving us various information which is totally correct. Awesome. Let's ask it a few more questions. If you give me the steps to renovate a bathroom and put uh, put cost in Australian dollars with each step. 
let's run it to see what it does generating the output let's wait for this step and it has returned me the answer actually it is still doing it but that is fine it has started putting in the values and you can see that it has given me the steps with the dollar cost trigger with each step which is awesome amazing stuff and then it has given me more and more there i think it is faltering because total cost is definitely not this anyway uh, but all in all a good response let me ask it a coding question write me a python program to reverse a list let's run it Let's see what it does this time. It has given me this, which is perfectly fine. It has created this reverse list function and it is calling from here. Awesome, beautiful. So um, really cool. And then it goes on and on and give me different options, which is nice. So as I said, uh, really heads off to this E, Hartford and other, the blog for creating this quantized version. Um, I'm falling in love with Mistral as much as I use it with different data sets and use cases and you will be seeing more videos from me. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments and if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.